313 gang. Yeah. Yeah. Here I we go. Think, uh, <laughs> I think when it really all started for what all four of us was when uh, sophomore year of college. It's, uh, it's been a crazy ride, I'll tell you that <laughs> though. Yeah, so uh, the beginning of the Bulls, that started way back um, in college. Um, obviously, we were all playing junior hockey at some point. Hockey players either want to become staff members of a team, coaches, GM, whatever it may be, equipment manager, whatever it may be, when you're done playing at some point. Um, we got to a college class that, um, it was a marketing class that we had to do for a baseball team, and it, uh, you're just going through a, a class for a different sport and you're sitting there with three other hockey guys doing this other sport and you're just going, all right, if we can do this for, for baseball, let, let's see what we can do for hockey. It was that uh, <clears throat> the baseball team was the Honkers. Yeah, the Rochester Honkers. Rochester Honkers. Came to Dave, came to Tyler, said, hey fellas, almost done with school here. What are your guys' plans? Um, we came up with the idea of starting a hockey team. Um, it was probably one of the best ideas that uh, that we've all come up with, I gotta say. I think it was just important that uh, we found the right place to do it. Pueblo was incorporated in 1870, the town of Pueblo. Pueblo was basically founded as a trading post, um, but we have a strong manufacturing history here. For nearly 150 years, we've been making steel in Pueblo. People came from all over the world to make the steel that built the American West. And that culture still remains today in Pueblo. The first time that I came to Pueblo, saw Pueblo, everything that was described to me about a tight-knit community, you know, a historic community, that's something that you can kind of feel here. You can feel the history in a lot of different ways. And I think that all kind of builds into the culture that's here. You know, we're sitting there with, with tunes at school and we're breaking down this project even more. And actually, spring break, we went out to uh, vacation Austin and just kind of where hockey players are, superstition, just didn't say anything to them. Um, kind of kept it under, under the pillow for that. And uh, just kind of four days of this idea of us three kind of tiptoeing around them with this idea, continued on to Colorado Springs and down to Pueblo and checked it out for the rest of the week. and. Um, went back, understood what we needed to do, and, and called Hoff and said, hey, do you want to be a part of this? So, yeah, that was long. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I remember, I remember driving down and, and he'd sitting with Jerry, and he says all the time, but, you know, we were prepared. They uh, asked if I would be interested in helping them start a junior team. So that's really how it started, was them coming to me. My CFO at that time was a gentleman that's the head coach at Central Oklahoma University. Um, he said, hey, your dad will give you three minutes. If you don't have a good uh, business plan, he'll get up and walk out. And uh, they came in two and a half hours later, I was still listening to them. We put a lot of time and effort into breaking everything down of why Pueblo, what Pueblo you know, has for us, or who they are, or all those different things that again, we did for the honkers, but you know, packed up the U-Haul, not even 48 hours after graduation and just booked it down here and started it off. So my first thoughts when I heard that Pueblo was getting a junior hockey team was, uh, you know, it was, it was excitement for sure. Um, and maybe even a little doubt if I'm honest. You know, over the years we've seen a, a couple juniors teams, and this is a, a broad span of years that a couple teams have come and gone and, and really didn't quite make it. I think 
when it comes down to it, everyone knows Pueblo is not a rich community. It's, it's a blue collar town. And so when they see a group outside of the community coming in, but showing that they're willing to put the community first in so many ways, then this type of community is going to embrace them and give them that back as well. Um, I think the Pueblo probably embraces the Bulls the most because the Bulls embrace Pueblo. Um, Pueblo is their home. They take care of Pueblo, Pueblo takes care of them. They're involved in the community, they're involved in the youth programs. You see them out and about all the time, so I think that it gives Pueblo something to be proud of. Hockey is so exciting, and you mix that in with the Pueblo culture, and Pueblo owns whatever comes to Pueblo. I think that they just took to these boys and um, the boys play their hearts out. And I think that because the boys give them their all, that Pueblo gives them their all. Most of our players are 16 to 20 years old coming to Pueblo with the intention of playing hockey at the next level. Um, that next level looks like uh, higher junior leagues, college, professional opportunities. Um, I think uh, the thing that really separates us as a program is obviously the, um, the impact that we have on these kids. I'm feeling great about this year's team. Uh, it's an exciting one. The guys are excited to be here. Um, we're, we're a bigger, stronger team this year. We're, we play really fast so far, so I'm really excited about this year. My name is Rylan Markham. I'm 19 years old and I'm from Anchorage, Alaska. I'm a returning player. I played here last year. Uh, this is my second year of juniors and second year in Pueblo. We're really getting to know each other this year. Our team chemistry is awesome. I just, I can't wait for the season. I think the guys are going to get along great. Head on today. Fantastic. You, Seduction, how are you? I'm very good. <laughs> I'm very good. My name is Scott McGarren. I'm from Reno Valley, California. I'm 19 years old. First week of training was uh, pretty tough. Um, the skating and stuff was to be expected. Everything uh, was pretty routine, but it's just the, the mental capacity and getting into that mode where you have the choice to push yourself beyond your limit and making that choice every day to go in and do your best um, because it's easy to lay down. But it was good. We got through it as a, as a team, and uh, we'll just keep getting stronger from here. Well, I think this is the closest thing we have to a professional uh, sports team. And Pueblo is a sports town. I mean, we uh, love to participate in sports and to watch sports, our high school sports. So when the Bulls came to town, they put a good product on the ice. You know, they brought people from all over to play hockey. Hockey's a rough and tumble game. Pueblo's a rough and tumble town. And I think there was just a natural attraction uh, between the team and the city. You know, Pueblo's very much a who you know town. It's been divided over the years of my high school versus your high school, my side of town versus your side of town. And the Pueblo Bulls lie right at the heart of the town. And it's been a team that no matter which high school you went to or which side of town you're from, you can rally around the Bulls. And I think that's brought Pueblo together um, because of that. It doesn't matter, we all are red, white, and black. You know, we're all Bulls fans. When we get new boys, we always tell them, you don't realize it now, but just by putting on a Bulls hoodie and saying you're a Bulls player, you're semi-famous in the town of Pueblo. That's all it takes. And they don't really get it until they go to a restaurant and someone will say, are you a player? And it just kind of just blows their mind. I, I think that Pueblo's really showed up and, and offered everything that they have to these guys. I had a billet and the, the people would see them and they'd go, I know you, you're one of the players, you know, or it's that community that 
Pueblo provides for, for our players that they belong. I'm Owen Ames, I'm 17 years old, and I'm from Spokane, Washington. I've been playing for Pueblo for, well, this will be my second year. I'm a senior this year, so getting some online school done, and I play Fortnite in my free time. That's about it. It's, it's way better now from the start, just getting to get my legs under it. I haven't been skating as much over the summer, and kind of got a lot of the guys down now, so it feels a lot better. Uh, my name is Lukas Björk, and I'm from Sundsvall, Sweden, and I'm 18 years old. Uh, the hardest part was getting acclimated to the attitude, to get to meet all the boys, the coaches. It's all a new environment, but I think it was a pretty good week and uh, I feel pretty good. Hockey to me, it's about having fun, win, and the community around it, the, all the coaches, all the friends you make, the memories you make by playing hockey, that's a big part of it, and it prepares you for life. I think that's something that, uh, you know, we've been really excited about since uh, the beginning of, of summer. Um, you know, with the returners that we do have, um, and the guys we were able to uh, get to come in. I think that's something, you know, we've been looking forward to. It's, uh, you know, a good group of guys, uh, not just a good group of hockey players, but people as well. It's not just the on ice, it's the off ice portion too, right? The things that we do with, you know, the community involvement, like we have high character individuals. So I think for us, we wanted to change the game. We wanted to change the way that people perceive junior hockey. You have so many tools and, and people around you that want to help you and help you get to that next level. And, and not even just as a hockey player, like they want to help you grow as a person. And I think that's, again, what we have in Pueblo is special as far as being able to provide kids that, that opportunity to grow on and off the ice. I think the Billet families, um, the sponsors, the fans all alike really open their arms and truly make you feel like you're part of the family. And that's what a small town will do for you. You're part of it, you're accepted. And I think that's huge for the players and for the Bulls and, and for the coaches. I mean, none of the coaches are actually from here, but they've all been embraced with open arms. The leaders, the four coaches that came to Pueblo and started this dream of theirs, and it was so exciting to see that and how it grew. You, you go through all the planning, you go through all the, we wanna do this, we wanna do that, but you never kind of plan out on how big of a family you can build, not just within this locker room, within the team, but like the community. So over the last five years for me, that was, that, that's one thing for me is um, to seeing the, the family that is growing, not just in this building, but around the community, around the, around the game of hockey. I mean, the Bulls are doing great on and off the ice. So when I'm driving through town, I see someone wearing a Bulls jersey. It's cool and I know that I have something in common with that and it grows and it grows and grows. I, I feel like community is everything when it comes to players around, around this, this level of hockey right what is here in pueblo is not something to be taken lightly or taken for granted because it does not exist in in a lot of other places you look at it whenever we play at home um, we've had some not so good outcomes in this building and they're here every single time until the buzz are waiting for you know the interaction with players the energy is insane um, you know, when the crowd's going nuts, it affects them, you know, so it's, it's fun because Pueblo, we get rowdy here and we've got a lot of pride, you know, and a lot of love for our city. I'm passionate, they're passionate, and I'll say crazy at times. Um, they love Pueblo. This, this city loves this city. It's pretty incredible what our community does for our players, for our team. It, uh, I don't know if they'll ever truly understand how much it means to the guys that sit in this locker room. Um, it, it gives them the power. 
bury that shit, and then point and say, fuck you. The moments that, the memories that they create for, for the players that come through here, it's, uh, it's incredible. And it's not even just our players, it's the other team. I don't think there's a place that has more of a connection with its fan base than, than we do here in Pueblo. That's what makes us what we are, right? We're hardworking guys in a hardworking town. That's why we found success. It's our culture is family. We do it with love. We do it for, for each other. It's not just to win. It's bigger than just a, a logo, right? It's a, it's a brotherhood, it's a family. Those are the types of things that you keep with you for the rest of your life.